Hello and welcome to a brand new preview episode for Black on Black Cinema. I'm your host Jay. I'm here with Micah. Hey. And Terrence. What's up? All right, so we're back. This is preview episode for episode 93, Higher Learning. Uh, of course, that's the 1995 college super racist coming of age movie. movie. Is, that, is that what it is? I a think it's a coming of age movie. Is, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Three, you, three. You find yourself there. Yeah, they found themselves there. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, so it's directed by John Singleton. Uh, this is starring Omar Epps. Uh, fucking, uh, what's her? Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks and her big ass forehead. Uh, Chrissy Busta Sw- Rhymes. Busta Rhymes. Oh, yeah, Christy yeah, Swanson. Ice Cube. Ice Just Cube, name the man. people who matter. My, Michael Rappaport. The entire cast from, uh, <laughs> Michael Rappaport matters. <laughs> Michael cast from a boy's note. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. True. Almost uh, the entire cast. All almost. The main plays. Yeah. So uh, it's about three college kids and their very uh, different experiences their first year at uh, Columbus University. So, uh, here's the trailer for that, and we'll come right back. Hey, I got a question I want to ask you all. How many people came here to change the world? Welcome to the real world. They came to Columbus University to get an education. So they got you running for the school. And if you don't run, you don't get no tuition, right? That's the way the system goes. Where are you from? Orange County. Is that near Compton? It, it's near Disneyland. It's different here than I thought it was going to be, you know? Hey, man. Seems like everybody's sticking to their own. <laughs> Me and my buddies, we were going to go get a drink. Do you want to come along? It's not really safe to walk around campus by yourself at night. <laughs> hey, let's see your ID. Now let us see your ID. No matter who you are. Where are we going? We're going to my house. <laughs> Billy! No! No matter where you're from. Are you having problems here at Columbus? Well, these fools be tripping when they see a black face. No matter what you believe. How do you feel knowing that when you graduate, you might not be able to get a job because of the color of your skin? Guess I never thought about that, man. What you learn is up to you. You on this couch you sitting on? This school? This country? You? you support the Black Panthers? It's reverse racism, man. What? How do you feel knowing that this country doesn't belong to you any longer? We're behind enemy lines, dog. You just want to go to school. Information is power. This is power. About time to raise a body here. And your marks? I was fit to kill one of them white boys. Set! This is the opening stage of the World War III. Everybody stay calm! You're dead. There are many ways to fight a battle. Some people use their mind. Some people use their fists. What are you going to do, college boy? One's primary purpose at university level should be to learn how to think. Without struggle, there is no progress. Columbia Pictures presents a new film from John Singleton. Okay, that was a trailer for Higher Learning. We will talk in depth about that one next week. People love that movie, don't they? Yeah, I think it's a pretty pivotal movie. Hmm. Okay, save it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking questions. Uh, so uh, we'll talk about that one in depth next week. But we do have our preview topic this week, which we decided we would just review a black ass TV show. Yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about Luke Cage, which is uh, available on Netflix right now. 13 episodes about the Marvel uh, superhero who protects, he micromanages Harlem <laughs> and protects Harlem. Um, I guess first we can just talk about our impressions of the show and then we'll talk about some sort of controversy that surrounded it. Do you want to I mean, are we going into spoilers? Or? Yeah, we're going to talk spoilers for Luke Cage. So <laughs> She was fucking great, man. Yeah. So if you haven't seen it, Turn this off or pause it, but we're going to talk about the whole series. Yeah, go watch it because uh, it's really good. And um, 
most of the acting is is stellar. I like the feel of it. It was uh, like a neo black exploitation type. Yeah, that's a good way of saying it. And and it was it was very good, man. I I mean, look, they said it was gonna be black. I ain't, I ain't know it was gonna be that black. <laughs> this, this show was black as a motherfucker, man. Uh, but I loved every second of it. It um it it has this thing that I hate about New York and New Yorkers, um the sense of pride that they have for their town. But, but you don't I, have a sense of pride for Baltimore. But you don't live in Baltimore. Uh, uh, no, I'm one. I don't live in Baltimore anymore. Two, not like New Yorkers have pride. No, the world begin the world begins and ends in New York. Right. Right, but and everyone wears Timberlands. I kind of wish I was from New York yeah, yeah. while watching the show. <laughs> like it, like it does, I felt it. Does, it. Yeah. I felt it, man. Yeah. I felt it. I absolutely loved it. I don't know if it's because I'm black and this show is black as shit, but I think it's the best Marvel show. Um, thinking back at Jessica Jones and Daredevil, like uh, I mean, I like those shows, but they're very, very different from this. This is Marvel taking chances again, like they used to, and. Um, and it paid off in my eyes, man. Yeah, Terrence. I'm basically gonna echo everything that he said, and I'm. It is because it's as black as it is that I enjoy it the most out of all. I didn't even finish Jessica Jones. Like I heard it was good, but mm. it's okay. I just lost interest after, after like episode five or six. Uh, with this one, this one was it had a lighter tone. Like it's, it's, it's a, certainly it's lighter. darker. It's not as dark as the other. It's well, like, physically, like, physically, it's darker. Daredevil is Daredevil is dark, is and Jessica dark. Jones makes you want to fucking jump off a building. Right. Yeah. This one. It was it, depressing it, in a way. Right. Like serious topics, but they 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 brought levity to them. There was comedy. There was seriousness. Uh, great, great dialogue between everyone. Uh, the the writing was really good, although some people didn't really necessarily. Uh, deliver the lines as well as they could have. Uh, the the uh, villains, great. Everything. The women, gorgeous. My God. Yeah. <laughs> like all of them. I mean, we can it talk about that. Great, it's just a great show. If you haven't watched it, just just, just do yourself a favor. Just binge it, just like everybody else did. Uh, everybody that I know, except for one person, uh, finished it in two days. Yeah. Yeah. It I I literally I literally couldn't because I had something to do like all that second day, but then immediately the second time right. like I had any free time I'd watch the rest of it. And there are people already watching it again. Like yeah, well, again. yeah, you're you're on your second. I'm on my second I'm on my second watch through, man. I which really, episode which episode are you on uh, your second? Watch well, through? now I got to wait for the wife, so, so. You're in episode 2. Yeah. <laughs> Start over. So you ain't never going to finish. But this this show like it speaks to I, like subconsciously or consciously, it speaks to how I see the world in relation to the other shows, right? Like white dudes love Daredevil, right? And yeah. white women love Jessica Jones and black people love Luke Cage. White dudes take themselves way too fucking seriously, <laughs> like Daredevil. Yeah. Fucking white women see themselves as the victim all the time, and they love to be the victim. I'm not saying Jessica Jones loved to be a victim. They, right, but it, it, is a victim, they, it, it is a victim story. It's a victim story, and they watched that John Bonet Ramsey fucking uh, s- snapped, I just killed my boyfriend, uh, uh, who's going to rape this white woman next type of ID discovery shit, right? They love that shit, right? I, This is why I don't watch television. They love that shit. And then black Get a Roku and avoid all of this nonsense. And then and then and then Luke Cage, yo, it was it it touched on serious things, but it has style, it has substance, and and I love how biased. By the way, it's like I mean, white look. people take themselves way too seriously, <laughs> Dude, or they, man. Or they, they love being do. a victim. Black people are awesome. I do. <laughs> like look. comedy and like yeah, no, but I where's I, the lie? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Absolutely right. That's your, well, I I would argue that I would argue that Luke Cage has. To put it a way that I think that we can all understand and that maybe white people lack sometimes is Luke Cage has seasoning. And those other shows, those other shows are more like salt and pepper on plain chicken, right? And like, I feel like Luke Cage, because, okay, so, and I, you know, I'm joking and, and sort of not joking at the same time. Like, I like, I like Jessica Jones, okay. I thought it was fine. I look forward to an, another I season. It. 
but like it is a very victim story. It's it's a heavy story, right? I mean, it's a, literally someone with PTSD after basically being a rape victim. I mean, that's right. yeah. the the crux of the story. Um, Daredevil is is like a fun action movie where he's kind of like Batman. He's like, I have to save this city, kind of like right, you know, fucking moral weight on him. All that being said, Luke Cage feels different because Luke Cage isn't just an experience about the hero. The music is the music is a character in and of itself. Harlem is a character, right? Harlem is a character in and of itself. So there are elements, non you know, like you know, non people elements of the show that are characters that make up so much of the atmosphere. There's much more atmosphere in this show than there has been in any of the Marvel uh, Netflix shows. Like you really feel like, wow, like this feels like Harlem. This feel, I mean, yeah, obviously it's filmed there, but like this feels. Like a section of New York, a very specific style of New York, where the other parts feel like a generic part of New York. Yeah, right. They just do. Like Hell's Kitchen is was a kind of a dangerous place in the eighties. Actually, it was a super dangerous place. That's how it got its fucking name. But it it doesn't feel. I know they're trying to show that on the show, but it doesn't feel they, that. They way. talk a lot about Hell's Kitchen in Daredevil, but it just feels like a just a generic city. Yeah. Right. It doesn't feel like there's a whole bunch of crime going around. No, it just no. seems like he just beats people up in the same building. <laughs> right. <laughs> over and over again. So, yeah, I, but I, I, I like the show. I thought it was really good. I, again, I thought the music was fucking stellar. I've been listening to the soundtrack for the last, like, three or four days. Like, it's really great. Um, and you can actually, if you have Spotify, you can find it on there. Um, so that was really good. I, I, I agree with Terrence. Some of the acting was okay. Um, I thought the woman who played Misty Knight um, was outstanding. I thought she was. I thought she was the highlight, really. I really did. Simone Missick. Uh, Missick. Uh, she was also super fun. Um, I uh, follow her on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What? I think every city in the fucking country did. It's like, it's like Ooh, okay, there you go. Yeah, as if it like, follow. <laughs> and she was like retweeting people, and I yeah, she would like respond to. Like, hey, thanks for yeah. liking the show. It was like, sure thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure's all mine. Yeah, uh, but one of the things I, I want to touch on is the role of women in black women in the show. I thought was profound, and the role, more importantly, the role of dark skinned black women in the yeah. show. Yeah, and none of that, that was a big deal. And none of that victim bullshit. Oh no, no. That's the funny okay. thing is none of the women were victims except no. for you, you could argue the girl at the end. Um, who yeah. worked at the club. You could argue. But she was never really... She was more of a pawn. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll give you that. But that's about the only black female character that you could be like, maybe you're a victim. Everyone else, they they stood toe-to-toe with any man they, they were in scenes with. Uh, Rosario Dawson gets introduced via mugging, and she chases the dude the down and <laughs> beats the shit out of him. Yeah. That shit was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> like to show her characters change over from from Daredevil of right. like, oh my god, there's a blind guy who does karate on the roof. To oh no, I'm gonna fuck this mugger up. <laughs> like that shit was hilarious, and it was kind of a cool progression of her character. But yeah, women women in this show are, you know, they're they're shown they're actually shown with a level of nuance, especially dark skinned black women that is so lacking. In movie and television, which I really appreciated, you know, very rarely do, especially dark skinned black women, get to play um, tough but also sexy roles, and like they they have a level of like comedic moments without just being a raging bitch because it's always that, or right. just solely a sexual role with no level of agency. Like Misty Knight has all the agency; she has as much agency as Luke Cage does. And actually, in some ways, more than him. Right. So, yeah, I, I thought that was a big, that was one of my biggest takeaways, is that Marvel actually treated black women with a level of respect that I can't say you see in, anywhere. 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 Really. Anywhere in, 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 anywhere in fake or real life. Right. right. <laughs> I mean, sadly, that's like, true. Now, I mean, and, you know, uh, everyone says, oh, Marvel has this issue with, you know, minorities and stuff like that. You can just shut the fuck up now. Like, you can't say anything. Because not only did they have plenty of minorities in the show, but they treated them with respect. Right. Which is, you know, 
That's really the key. Us being there is one thing. Us being there and being treated like dog shit is not really a good thing. <laughs> so, all right, let's jump into some of the controversies because these are fun. So we'll wait on the big one because the big one is hilarious. Um, oh, white people, you're so mad. Um, good. <laughs> right. With this series, I was like, oh, I saw those stories. I was like, check. Excellent. You did what I needed you to do. Um, so one of the controversies was the fact that the hero wears a hoodie all the time. And like some person on the internet referred to it as being the Marvel's, uh, not Marvel's first black hero, but Marvel's first thug hero or some, something to that extent. I believe she said super thug. Super thug, right? Uh, that was GOP black chick. I'll just say your name. I don't give a fuck about you. And um, I asked her to come on the show. I'd love to talk to her about it because she clearly didn't watch the series and she just made up a bunch of bullshit because she hates herself and black people, but whatever. Um, <laughs> mostly herself. But I can't, yeah. I can't believe you sent me that article. I was so fucking pissed at you. I didn't read it. I just read the things that you clipped out and I was like... Yeah, I started reading it. Yeah, and what I, I clipped out was basically the entire article. I knew you were doing that. I knew you were doing it. <laughs> like, I tried to read it. I'm like, I can't. I, he, he clipped out pieces of it. I'm like, no. I'm good. No. I don't need to read it. No, she, I wonder if Luke Cage is gonna stop black on black crime. Yeah, he does, bitch. Like that's the whole that fucking whole season. Thing. The villains are black. But she never watched it. She never watched the show. She never watched. She's clear that she never watched the show. It's fine. What? Whatever. Is it? It's uh, look. It's not fine. Whatever. <laughs> Come Whatever. on the show. I'd love for you to explain it to me how you you saw the show and didn't know any of the details of it. She and, saw a picture of him with a hoodie. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that was literally just it. some some other nigga. Right, which is how you see, that's how you see your fellow, your fellow man, by the way. Like, that's what that tells me. He have a suit on, like James Bond or something. He did have a suit on. He did. Yeah. Multiple suits. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. And, and then he, while he was stopping the black on black crime, the black people shot at those suits. So and he had to, he had to stop them. Because <laughs> that's what he was doing. He was stopping black on black crime. I hate your face. <laughs> if you're a fan of GOP black chick. Ask yourself why. Because um, you don't believe in logic and reason. Anyway, so um, I'll answer for you. So so the hoodie thing, okay, minus her moronic perspective. Um, I like the fact that they came out and said that this was an homage to the Trayvon Martin stuff. Yeah. This was an homage to black men being pulled over and stopped because they were wearing hoodies. Like this felt like they actually took cultural – they made the show culturally relevant. They took the word nigger and spun it into a positive way via, like, like yeah, they talk do with about hoodie. So, like, and I'm not saying this, like, what we did as a community with the word nigger, yeah. they did for the hoodie. Because, oh, by episode, because by episode 12, you got niggas rolling around in hoodies and shit, <laughs> fucking singing Method Man and shit. Right. And everybody that giving each their... other dap and shit on the street. Right. Like, like... That's what I loved about it. And that's a very, but that's a very black thing, right? Is, you know, this goes back to that whole style thing. Like, we can make a song or we can make something cool out of nothing. Out of you know? nothing, man. Yeah. And, and that, that to me felt super real. Like, that's, that's a very good point. Um, but you have to realize, like, the whole, like, you can't make a show about being black in Harlem and ignoring those things. Because then it's not genuine. If they never said nigger on the show, it would be ridiculous. It would be ridiculous. Like, oh, no, they all speak. Oh, hello, Mr. Cage, how are you? Oh, you know, have a, have a, that would be ridiculous. Like, <laughs> black people in Harlem don't talk like that. Right. I've been to Harlem. They don't. Yeah. I don't know how y'all sound. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Timberloons on all the time. Um, but I, I, that I appreciated. Like, but it, it's clear that some people just didn't get that. And... Sucks to be you, but like that, there was an actual point to it. Um, you mentioned the using the word nigga. They kind of spun that. Um, well, no, I, that was a point. I, I worded my analogy poorly, but right. But you're saying like the hoodie thing, right? Right. You're using that, but they also use the word nigga in the show. Now, some people said that there was it was sort of respectability politics, which is a which is a topic I want to talk about separately at, at some point um, in another episode. But did you find that it was did you find that it was respectability politics because he didn't use, he the, didn't word like use the word and he didn't like the word? I mean, some people, I know people that don't like to use the word. Like my, my aunt, she doesn't use it. 
like most of most of my family doesn't use the word nigga, but I use that shit all the time. It's like, sorry, I'm not going to stop it. So it wasn't really didn't necessarily bother me that he didn't really like it. Some people just don't enjoy it. Yeah, the, so, and that was kind of my thought. Right. I mean, you know, it, like you said, it would feel weird had they not used it, but the way they did use it, it, it just it was genuine. Like yeah. it just rolled off the tongue. Like, like the writing was so good that it just like it was just like me hanging around a bunch of people. Right. Well, one of the things I liked is Alfre Woodard's uh, character. She, you know, she's a corrupt politician, and um, that character Cottonmouth. He was like, he said he says it. He's like, oh, you know, and she's like, oh, I, I hate that word or what have you. He goes like, yeah, you don't like to use the word nigga. You know, everybody underestimates a nigga or whatever, and like. But those are points that people legitimately make. Yeah. Is that, yeah, you know, you don't want to, you don't want them to ever see you coming kind of thing. And like, I like that the villains used it. And, you know, the whole idea of like respectability politics, like Luke Cage by design is supposed to be a hero. He's supposed to be the better version of us. Look, I know I shouldn't fucking say it, but sometimes you got to fucking put a period on a sentence, right? <laughs> like you just do. You know, like maybe I shouldn't say fuck as much, but sometimes it's just like, it's going to work really well. It's right a great here. adjective, man. Right. Exactly. <laughs> great you know? adjective, verb, noun. Yeah. Like, you can use it for everything, right? So, like, yeah, I know I shouldn't probably use it. And, and if I could, you know, remove it from my, my personal lexicon, I probably would. But I don't want to. It's okay? <laughs> it's basically, I could, but I don't want to because I, like, I like using it when, when it's appropriate. But that being said is I don't want, I don't want black heroes to say it. Like, I want them to be a better version of us. I want, I want the people to look at him, even though they might do wrong or they might fuck up sometimes. I want them to look to Luke Cage and be like, wow, this guy is, this guy is, is the goal, basically, right? Like, I like that idea. So I didn't think it was respectability politics because the notion of that, and I saw a couple of people write about that, is like, oh, that's for white people. But he wasn't talking to white people about it at all. He was talking to his own people yeah. about it. Well, I think I think yeah. I think when people say, "Oh, well, that's for white people," it's for the white audience, not right. the people in the show. And I don't agree with that. Uh, someone, uh, many people have said it, and I'll repeat it: just because Luke Cage is a respectable person doesn't mean that he is right. doing respectability politics. Like he's not fucking cooning and spooning for the white man right. just because you know he he. Uh, pronounces his R's on the end of words. You know what I mean? Like it's Laying in the cut. <laughs> right. Like it just. I don't. I never understood. I never understood that man. Like it's not. It's not respectability politics to not be a fucking asshole. Right. Or not be indignant. Like I, 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 and I think I think you're hitting on the exact right point, which is there is this argument that Luke Cage should kind of be. Luke Cage should kind of be the super thug. That right. GOP bl black chick thinks that he is. Right. Which is not the hero I want. <laughs> By the way, which is not the hero he is. He's not. Like you can't, you, you just can't please people, man. Yeah, right. And, and it's just like, <laughs> damn. And, and, and that's been my whole thing with watching some of these reviews. I think 99% of the reviews have been totally reasonable, right? They've been like, oh, okay, I like this part, I didn't like this part, or I really liked it, or, you know, what have you. But there's this line of, Black folks and white folks saying like, oh, well, you know, the respectability politics part or, you know, he's a super thug or whatever stupid shit that is. Yeah, the that things, doesn't make any it doesn't make any sense. That's what I'm saying. Like, she didn't watch the show. She couldn't possibly have watched it. So, you know, you get all those things. And I, I to those people, I ask, what is it, what movies and television shows with black people do you actually like? Slave movies. Is, is 12 Years a Slave the only type of black cinema um, that you like? Apparently. Because it, make, it, makes, it makes white people feel bad and good at the same time. Right. And so they come, out, they come out feeling all right about themselves. Right. And it's the one type of movie that even you know, self-hating black people can't deny. Like, you can't deny right. it's a historical that fact. history. Right. You can't. Even so, though they do in Texas school books. Um, <laughs> no, they're funny. working on it. It's funny because there's a movie that we're not going to do. Don't even name it. Um, what movie? Exactly. But anyway, it did really well on the festival circuit. Mm. But guess who the festival circuit is comprised? Right. A bunch of people who look like the palm of your hand. 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it, and now the reviews coming out for the movie, they're like, by black like, people. Regular people are like, what the fuck? Is this? <laughs> yeah. Black so one, a black woman who was head of African American studies at Ohio State University wrote for the nation. It was an epic fail. That was the title. <laughs> it was the title of the fucking article. Like, what is this bullshit? It treated women like garbage. So mm, interesting. Mm, anyway, really? maybe three niggas on a podcast know what they're talking about. Think about it. <laughs> Just think right. about it. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what white people want from us. They want more That's white smart. people, apparently. Well, let's <laughs> get to the big, con- the big controversy, right? The big controversy is. That there were some, I don't think it was a lot, but there were some people saying that Luke Cage is racist because it doesn't have a level of diversity in it. That's fucking retarded. First of all, uh, <laughs> look. It's so funny because you're normally so quiet. You're like, no, no, excuse me. Because no, there, there was one article in particular that came out the same day that the, the show came out. Right. That's what, for everyone else to watch. I guess that he had an advanced screening of it. And I don't, was it the New York? I can't remember what, what article it was from. What magazine? But he said that he it was a lesser a lesser show. Because oh, it was um, who, it was a New York Times, I think. New York Times. He said it was a lesser show. It was first of all, they said it was a spinoff of Jessica Jones. No, it's not. That's not true. No, they all live like, in the same universe. Right, you chucklehead. <laughs> it was a lesser show because uh, they they tried to teach him about black culture. I guess it was. It's a bizarre fucking. They said there was too much exposition. Too much exposition. Compared to Jessica Jones? Too much exposition. She didn't even punch anyone for like nine episodes. Like they, they, Harlem was basically a character in itself and they didn't really like that. It didn't, like my, the biggest thing that I got out of it. Some of the greatest fucking movies are referred to as the city is the character. Right. You didn't read it. Obviously you didn't. I didn't read it. I read it. I was like, this is, there's a white dude that wrote it. Um. I'm, I'm sorry, just, just to interrupt you one second. They literally just gave fucking Emmys to Mr. Robot. And one of the big things is, New York feels like a character in the show. They fucking said that. <laughs> anyway. I don't know. <laughs> too much exposition. The city was too much of a character. Um, I don't think he said anything about diversity. He just said that he was, they were trying to... It feels too dark. Yeah. Doesn't yes. stay whiter later. It felt you know too dark. I, mean? uh, I don't... Yeah, he didn't say anything about diversity. But the, his points... But like you're a fucking racist, dude. I think like, it, I think it I, makes I, some white people like. I don't think just he's a racist. Movie. I think it's just that it didn't speak to him, so he didn't like it as much. Huh? Which is very fucking bizarre. Because really, welcome we, to TV we, we for every country. Welcome to black we people. Have very very little representation, and we deal. We deal, I'm 35 years old. We're dealing that shit for Ever. 30. Five years. Yeah, I was just, <laughs> forever. Just now starting to get shows with just almost predominantly black cast. That's not good times where we're fucking poor, poor as shit. Uh, so fuck you, dude. I yeah, guess that's offensive. Actually, that that article is offensive to me. But okay, so that is the perfect jumping off point to this larger conversation, which is, hey, there's not enough diversity in this show, so it's racist. So that was just and that was a number of tweets, right? Yeah. So his friends racist. Because that was on for 10 fucking seasons, and I can count the black people that were on it on one hand. Spoiler alert. It was one person. <laughs> and they were in fucking New York City. They weren't in Oklahoma. They weren't in the middle of Ohio, in some remote town. Friends didn't happen at a coffee shop in Montana. It was in fucking the most populated city in the United States with 8 million people. Just saying. Um, they didn't even have like a black barista. Nothing. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, right? So, Friends, Seinfeld, shit, we even have a show about Seinfeld. There's almost no black people or any minorities. Yeah, there's like 10. And they make fun of all of them. And it's actually, that, those parts are kind of racist, okay. actually. All right, in fairness, you got that one. But, like, there are so many shows on television that are all white people, that yeah. have no minorities What are What are black people at on Will and Grace? No, 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 no there the was one. not. There was not. Well, oh, it was a minority because it's too gay. What are black guys. people on Mork and Mindy? Mork and Mindy? God damn. <laughs> I'm just picking. I'm that's just, a fucking deep. I'm cut. just picking. Look, that's what I'm saying. It's been going on yeah. for a while. Yeah. What, yeah. what was the uh, what was the genie in the bottle fucking TV show back in the day? I love. I, wait, wait, I dream of genie. I dream of genie. Ain't no black people on that show. Where were the black people in Mr. Ed? 
They had a fucking horse with more <laughs> speaking roles than a black person. Right. I can't relate to that shit. That show was pretty ridiculous. But you got one show. One, one show that well, has well, you have, 90% black people in it. Right. But, well, you have blackish. Blackish has got a lot of black people. Even though blackish still has white neighbors, white kids they go to school with, white recurring characters every single week. Yeah. Uh, you've got, uh, what is it, Fresh Off the Boat, Asian family. They've got white neighbors, white recurring characters, white kids they go to school with. They're on every single episode. Yep. Also, by the way, Luke Cage has white people in it. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know the guy Shades who you think is Latino? Spoiler alert, he's Italian. He's not Latino. <laughs> and he had a cop. The cop. And the cop, yeah. That's two. Oh, well, he was a villain. No, Welcome no. to being black. <laughs> We're a villain in everything. I'm a villain walking down the street. Right. So, like, the argument that it doesn't have enough diversity is ridiculous. We're not on TV that fucking much anymore. We're not. <laughs> and it's just now that it is starting to make changes. But, yeah, okay, so you had, in the very first episode, you had black, Latino, or a Latino character, black, Latino, East Asian, and white characters. All in the same... All in the same episode, but you're like, oh, it's, it's racist. Really? Because there are shows where black people just don't fucking show up for seasons at a time. So, yeah, sorry, you're not the center of fucking attention. I'm sorry that you're a five-year-old. Like, not everything is about you. There are parts of New York that black people are the majority. Are there black people in Daredevil? Turk. Fucking Vondi, Vondi Curtis Hall, too. And they killed him. <laughs> Was there... A, no, he he no, he lasted. He was he was about halfway. Yeah. But okay, so in Daredevil you had Turk and Vondi Curtis Hall. That's two. That's wow. two. Jessica Jones. And black people and Jessica Jones? Yeah. The black guy who was a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> and who else? And this is and this is my thing, man. Like right. exactly. <laughs> there aren't any. Dude. You never hear black people say Daredevil is racist. Right. Jessica Jones is racist. I mean probably some, but they're dumb. Okay, those and they're are dumb, those right? Are really dumb. They're dumb. But I just... Yeah, 99% of us will go, oh, yeah, it's Daredevil. We don't think about it. You know why? Because white people are in everything. Right. They're in everything. So it's just not... It's, it doesn't come off to us as being racist. Like, you watch all these superhero shows and other movies and stuff like that. You don't think about it because everyone looks like you. We're forced to think about it because no one looks like you us. You don't think about it because you don't have to think about it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's like a, a fish doesn't know water exists. That kind of thing, you know? Like, right. they don't. You're in it all the time. You're fucking surrounded by it. Right. So, and the yeah, second you're, you're out of it, you're like, oh, shit, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I'm freaking out, man. Yeah. I'm dying. Uh, I can't breathe. There's so much blackness. It's Harlem. <laughs> Bunch of fucking goldfish, man. There you go. That's how we'll refer to racist white people from now on as goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, and also I think the, the darkness of the hero also really matters, right? Because it, it's not like, you know, light-skinned black dude. He, he's he's black. black as shit. <laughs> Mike Coulter is a dark-skinned ass dude. And good for him, like, right? That's what the character's supposed to be. Even though, like, in the comics, they tried to lighten Luke Cage up over the years. I'm like, why are you doing that? <laughs> like, suddenly he's starting to look like The Rock. I'm like, nah, man. Turn that dial back. He was black as shit in 1972. Get the fuck out of here. So, yeah, I, I think that's kind of interesting. Amongst other things, there was some controversy on, I don't know, whatever whatever that show is, 106 in Park, 97, whatever, um, with Charlemagne asking, you know, oh, my culture, your wife is white, and some, some black women had a problem with that, apparently. I don't even think anyone gave a fuck. Um, I can't imagine why they would. It's 2016. Um, right. But you'll turn around and go date a white man, but you got a problem with him dating a white woman. Yeah, he's married to her. Like, who gives a fuck? Also, right. does, a it, does anyone care that uh, Alfie Woodard is married to a white guy? Nobody gives a fuck. Right. No one cares. Also, you watch Scandal every week <laughs> about a black woman who can't leave a fucking married white man alone. Okay? <laughs> Calm down. No one gives a shit anymore, dude. No one gives a fuck. And guess what? If you're mad about him being married to a white woman, guess what? You're going to be really mad because he's going to marry Jessica Jones in the fucking show. And they're going to have a mixed baby. So get ready to be mad about that shit, too. <laughs> Although, when I was watching, I was like, I hope he ends up with a misty night. I kind of did. Yeah, I kind of did, man. Uh, I kind of did. I, yeah, I kind of did, yeah. But guess what? 
you just gonna have to be mad because it's gonna happen. That's yep. that's the way that's the way it happens. You shot him with a shotgun and he he's gonna come back for more. So there you go. So that's it for this week. We will see you guys next week for higher learning. See ya. Yeah. 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 Yeah.